Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Lead Code Data Science with MLU Prasad. A small intro about myself. Myself, MLU Prasad, I am a mentor for data science and analytics at various set tech companies. And I also have a master's degree in CS with specialization in AI and machine learning. And I am here to just share my expertise of data science and lead code through YouTube. Okay. And this is my website where the future updates of the channels will be updated there. And this is the agenda of my channel where I'm trying to up, uh, upload various categories of data science. As of now, I uploaded SQL and solutions of Github. From now onwards, I'll be uploading data structures and algorithms, props and stats, all the different different deep learning based computations and the computer vision stuff, NLP stuff, and also intro specific uh, videos regarding data science and data analytics. Currently, I have uh, around uh, 730 subscribers, but I'm re I kept a goal to reach at least one lakh data science aspirants by the end of next year. Please subscribe to my channel. It will be helping me reach my goal. Okay, the question which we are trying to solve is medium 1364 number of trusted contacts of a customer. And if you want to talk to me or if you want to discuss anything or needed any guidance, you can book a free session with me. I'm there to help you. And also I provide monthly trainings on all the Python data science track and also SQL end to end track. If you're interested, you can ping me at this number. We can have further discussion. Okay. The question they have given is, um, there's a customer's table, contacts table, invoice table. Okay. Let's paste it down. Okay, there are customer table this table okay there is an invoice table and there's one more output table okay let's try to understand what they want to say Write a solution to find the following for each invoice ID. Where is the invoice ID? Okay, for this they want it. Now what else they want? Let's see. Okay. Customer name. The name of the customer the invoice is related to. Okay. You can see some user ID 1 is there. Okay. Okay, he is the person then. Customer ID was you can see here 77 invoice ID price is 100 user ID is 1 so he is the person allies okay price the price of each invoice okay contacts CNT the number of contacts related to the customer for example imagine if a customer has purchased this thing he is the customer one let's say in his company there are three more representatives who can talk to him for example over one Bob John Jal is there for two someone is there for the Six, someone is there for 13 no one is there okay trusted contact CNT okay the number of contacts related to the customers in the same time okay okay for example you can see here customer ID one is there who is customer ID one allies you can see that there are three friends of allies who are they Bob John and Jal you can see that Bob and John are already present there Jal is not there so he has three contacts of each customer ID of one where two are already there in the customer table who are already there in the customer table they are calling it as trusted okay now let's see what they have done let's come here 44 60 6 is there okay 44 is there okay 60 is the price who is 6 Alex okay similarly 55 500 13 John okay these three columns we can get by what let's do a inner join of customers table and invoice table using user id equal to customer id and get it let's do this first of all okay from customers table inner join contacts table a dot customer ID 
will be equal to b dot user id okay we don't want all the columns we want only what invoice id sorry it should be invoices okay we want only invoices id next price we want okay customer name you want okay customer name let's see it invoice is id unknown column okay it should be invoice okay here you can see 44 lx 60 so on okay first three columns we got it now what we want we want this contact cnt contact cnt means what let's come here here you can see for 44 6 how many are there one sorry not this one who is 6 here this lx how many contacts are there one one minute yeah 44 only one is there okay next 13 13 is there 13 how many times it is there zero so that is why 13 0 next 66 66 is 2 2 2 2 times it is there okay next 77 77 is 1 1 77 is there 3 times so next 88 88 is what 1 1 okay again 3 times 3 times okay next one 99 99 is what 2 who is 2 2 2 is there 2 times so what we need to do is we need to group by this user id and we need to count them okay that thing we need to join to this table okay let's do this thing let's call this as some with the cte okay now from contacts table group by user id select user id comma count of rows let's say some cnt okay now we have this one see 1 is there 3 times, 2 is there 2 times, 6 is there 1 time. That thing we need to join to the previous table which we have calculated before. Okay. Let's call it as CTE2. Now these two things I will do left join. Why I will do left join? If you see in the contacts only 1 to 6 is there. But here 1 to 3, 30, 1 to 13, 6 is there. 13 also we want. So if you do left join, not matching conditions also will be satisfied. So from CTE, uh, from CTE as a inner join, sorry, left join, CTE2 as B on A dot user id equal to b dot user id let's select all the rows okay what we want here Let's select user ID also then. See, we have got it right now. 1, 2, 3, 3, 3, 2. We got it. Okay. Here you can see for 13, which is what? 55. It is 0. It is coming as null. So what we can do? Wherever it is this um, 
what you call so it will be stable wherever c and t is null i will replace with zero okay for that let me do order by invoice id select also let's keep only needed things invoice id customer name price and coles because i want to replace c and t with zero wherever it is null okay that thing they are what they are calling contact c and t okay here you can see first four columns we got it right now what we want we want only trusted contacts so who are the trusted contacts trusted contacts are the contacts for example one bob john jal something it is there only who are there in this table we want them so what you'll do let's do a inner join of contacts table and customers table okay let's do this here only ct3 yes from customer stable as a inner join contact stable as b on a dot customer id equal to b dot oh sorry a dot contact name equal to b dot customer name so after the join only this is it then you need to group by okay you need to group by and you need to do what you need to group by user id here in the select statement user id comma count asterisk let's say trust ct this above table again what i need to do one more left join ct3 as c on a dot user id equal to c dot user id sorry we don't contact name So this is A, this is B. Okay, we want this TCT column also. So select TCT. So now we got the TCT also. So what is happening? wherever the value it is there it is coming wherever the value is not there it is coming as null so same again coalesc tct comma zero as trusted contacts cnt and it's working fine let's submit it Yes, it has been successfully accepted by the platform. This is the solution. Okay. 
if you want more solutions and explanations like this please subscribe to my channel and if you want to have more notices on python numpy pandas matplotlib seaborn and other deep learning stuffs you can follow my kaggle channel all the links are available in my kofi link you can go here everything will be available here okay and if you want to support my channel you can go to this kofi link which is available in the chart uh, sorry video description and you can do a small donation which will be helping to improve my channel Thanks for watching. See you again.